David Trafford has been making some of South Africa's finest wines over the last 20 years, and ever since he started the Sin Project in Malchas, we've been interested and we feel there, there hasn't been a huge amount of excitement about the project. So, as a team, Wine Cellar went out to Malchas to discover the wines and see what makes them so great. coming down for a weekend here and just thought it looked like Chateau Neuf de Pup in south of France and it would be wonderful to plant some vines here. The idea is to do things a little bit differently and just to try, I think the real challenge has been to try and find the best system to get the best out of the, out of the soil. These vineyards look very different to what you might find in Constantia, in uh, the Swartland, in Stellenbosch. Uh, they're more reminiscent of Chateauneuf de Pape, where these uh, gaillou, these rolled pebbles, make up the vineyard. Or the, the slate uh, sort of soils of the Douro, or Saint Joseph in, uh, the, in the Rhone. And uh, that makes this place really special and uh, we've come out here to, to come and see the vineyards and taste the wines and get a really good understanding of, of the Sin wines. I think there is potential to make uh, some of South Africa's finest wine here. Alright, so we're halfway down the slope and there's a lot more rolled uh, stones on top uh, which we've seen at the top vineyard. Yeah, we're a little bit lower down. What's, what's, uh, what do you like about this profile, Dave? Well, um, yeah, we have the, the shale, which has um, got a bit more uh, water retention in a dry area like this. Um, it's basically a compacted uh, clay, so it keeps a bit more water, but it's also friable, so the roots can, can get in between here. So typically the soils are, have got more of the round stones on top but then this kind of shale is underneath. David Trafford decided to plant a slew of grape varieties from Portugal, from south of France, even from the Loire. And uh, we feel the wines are getting better and better each year as he discovers this unique terroir. Voldo is actually making the wines at the moment. But Pierre, which of the wines uh, is your favorite? My favorite out of the same range is actually this one over here. It is the White 2012. It's the one we've got in our glasses right now. And it's a blend of Chenin and Viognier. It's barrel fermented, not too much wood influence. I think this wine just gets better and better every year, more and more expressive of this unique terroir. Um, it's got a lovely minerality on the nose, um, some savouriness like a nutty macadamia that kind of displays more old world French kind of character. And on top of that, it's still really refreshing, zingy, some nice tropical fruits coming through as well. It's just a really beautiful wine. Really complex and... Very complex, and lots of layers. Pretty insane. Pretty insane. <laughs> of the reds, uh, my favourite is the Turriga Nacional. It's a great variety that's from the Douro in Portugal. And now we've seen the terroir, they're very similar. You've got big rolled rocks and steep slopes towards a, a river. You no wonder that it, it does so well there. I love this wine because it's something different. It's, it's the best Riga Nacional that I've tasted from South Africa, and maybe it will be a, a future trend, uh, especially in that region. It's got so much purity of fruit. It's got a lovely freshness. There's lots of power, lots of richness. It's, it's full body, but yet quite delicate. And um, I just love that it's got different flavors. Uh, All those to exotic it. spices coming through, um, yet still that really like richness to it. It's a, it's a beautiful wine. Something a bit different. 
We want you to be as enthused about these same wines as we are. From the beautiful white to the serious Tariga Nacional and the entry level low profile at 89 Rand, these are wines that you need to have in your cellar. It's a new region, it's 50 kilometers away from any other winery or any other vineyard. It's a unique terroir, it's something exciting for the industry and you really have to try these wines, they are fantastic.